You've just moved into a studio apartment. So how do you set it up to create an attractive and grown-up space? I'm Doug Walker, and this is Ruminus. The Ruminus channel brings you straightforward steps to an inviting home. Studio apartments can be a big challenge. Today I'm going to talk through a few tips on how you can set up yours more easily. So let's start with a sample studio apartment plan. Our inclination is often to separate functional areas of kitchen, eating, bedroom, living, office, and dressing into their own separate areas inside of a studio apartment. Now, I'm all for identifying the different functions that will go on inside your apartment. However, in such a small space, I wouldn't recommend creating physical barriers between these areas. The areas are going to flow into each other, so your decor should go ahead and embrace that. Creating physical subdivisions is going to give the impression more of a kid's space rather than an adult apartment. In addition, natural light is a scarce commodity in studios. Creating physical barriers between your areas can cut down the amount of natural light, or create an arrangement where you're not making the best use of natural light. Along those lines, try to have your daytime activities near your windows and your nighttime activities, sleeping, away from your windows. So how do you think of your space as being unified? Let's reframe that question and ask what kinds of spaces are like your studio apartment? So what about a master bedroom with a sitting area and a wet bar? That's a cool kind of space. Or maybe a hotel room that has a kitchenette. Also cool. Today. Tiny houses are the hip new way to live. So how can we think about your studio apartment being more like those? Here are some practical things that you can do. Think about how traffic will move through your space. When planning a space that will get a lot of use, try to minimize the traffic paths and maximize the gathering spaces. For instance, you need to get to both sides of a double bed. Can you use the path on one side to also be the path into the studio or the path to get to a closet door. In addition, can you push the traffic around with your furniture so that your foot traffic doesn't cut through your functional areas? Can you double up your furniture? Can your bookshelves double as an entry table? A round dinette table with chairs can take up a lot of room if you need to get to all sides of it. Can you use a rectangular table instead that you can push up against a wall, or similarly fold down the edge of a round table? This example can't work that way, but pairs two of the dining chairs with a tiny round table. Imagine that, ignoring his own advice. Bar height tables can be useful as counter space, buffet space, standing desk space, as well as eating space. You can scale down your furniture selections, but don't kid size your furniture. If you're likely to move to larger accommodations, you can still use your smaller items in your smaller spaces there. Get adult storage pieces. Clothes are often a crunch point at this stage of life. It is worth taking the time to figure out how much clothing you have and how much space you need for it. Think about what kinds of hampers and storage will be big enough, attractive, and functional so that you can see, access, and put away everything that you have easily. In this example studio, there was no closet space at all. So an entire wall was needed just for storage. I have another video that talks about how to line up storage pieces along a wall. Lastly, use the hierarchy of storage that I shared previously. Conceal it whenever possible, camouflage it when it's appropriate, and make it an attractive part of your decor when necessary. Don't overlook focal points and art. When you actively pull focus with larger and more eye-catching items, the smallness of the space is much less noticeable. With these basic elements considered, you can move into other aspects of design by adding textures and accessorizing. Do you know the top 10 things you can do to improve your space right now? You can find out in this playlist. You should watch. It's short. Thanks for watching.